Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penj and welcome back to Fallout 4 Explosives Only. It's a pretty miserable day here in Boomtown. It's raining and I thought I'd make Betty stand out in the cold, in a dress, in heels, just because she's tough. She's hard. She can take that kind of treatment. So last time out, let's zoom back in. Betty, get undercover. You're very old actually. I'd forgotten about your advanced years. Let's, let's go under here and sit near a fire. That's better. There we go. Warm your old bones, Betty. Um... Last time out, we dealt with the USS Constitution. It took us a few goes to deal with the USS Constitution. I uh, kept kind of messing things up at the end and struggling with the um, with the battle, the final battle where the scavengers appear. And they were kind of getting on board. Or they weren't really getting on board. They were just making it to a doorway, which then counted as them boarding the ship, which was a little bit weird. But never mind. So we dealt with that eventually. And uh, we, helped, <laughs> we helped Captain Einsides move the ship 30 fathoms closer to the sea, or whatever he said. So there we go. They've shifted from one building to the next and jolly exciting it is too. Well done those guys. So I've done all the stuff. I've crafted more grenades. I've sold all the stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Done all that kind of waffle. Now we have to decide what we want to do today. I've just noticed that I'm actually not at full health. Hang on. Let's do this while we're uh, while we're chatting on what we're going to do. Let's go and have a little sleep in a random bed. I'm sure that's lovely. I don't know. Seven hours. That'll do. I thought what we're going to do is we're going to do a DLC that I have not done before. We're going to do the Vault Tech DLC. Now, I don't know what it entails. I don't know if it's questy and there's actually some fighting -y stuff to do or some exploring or whatever. Or if it literally is you go and there's a Vault Tech thing and then you and then you just, that's it, you build a vault and that's it. I don't really know. So we're going to go and find out because we've only got two DLCs left. We've got Vault Tech and Far Harbor and that's it. Then we're done. Then we have to do the final thing. Is her hair, hair change colour? Yeah. No, okay, no, it was the light shining off. <laughs> it looks like she's got sort of really, really, really sort of light, sort of light blonde, possibly even kind of ginger hair from here. But no, it's the light shining off her head. Oh, Carla, I thought you'd had your hair done. I was going to say, it looks fabulous, darling. So, yeah, that's what I thought we'd do. Vault Tech, because Vault Tech seems easier. Then we'll go and do Far Harbour, and then we'll do the big finale and go and take out the Institute. So without any further ado, let's clamber into the power armor, like so, and then we shall listen to the vault -Tec signal. And that's what we've got to do, isn't it? On the radio, I've highlighted the quest, if we ever get in the power armor. There we go. So the quest says, uh, tune into the vault. Oh, no, investigate vault H. Yeah, of course, we've listened to the thing already, didn't we? So it's down here somewhere. There we go. It's all the way down there. So where can I go to? How about West Roxbury Station? And we shall walk down from there. Now, this is tricky. This is a horrible place. Horrible place full of, no doubt, wildlife and insects and bugs and things that want to come and hurt me. So I'm going to have to be very careful going from there. I think that's the best place to go from. We'll try and go along that road and then kind of round that way down. I don't want, really want to go past that school if I can help it. So let's let's uh, let's go to West Roxbury Station and then try and head toward Vault 88 from there. Oh, okay, right. This was a stupid place to fast travel to because there is a suicider somewhere around and he's probably going to come and kill me. I found Fallon's apartment store, though. Go me. Might be the last thing I actually do. Uh, yeah, me still running toward me is the old guy. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Lovely time pause. Let's see. Let's see if we can drop. Oh, no, I can't drop a plasma and there's not enough of those. They're not available. A frag mine. Let's drop a frag mine round here. Let's see if that's enough to kill him. Can he stand on the frag mine and blow himself up, please? Right, okay. That hurt him, certainly. Hello, I'm here. Oh, there's two of you. Oh, splendid. Well, isn't that fun? Yep, hang on. A couple of them. Oh, no, I need to get out of the way. I need to get out of the way. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Head hurt. How does that make any sense? Uh, okay, there's three suiciders. Oh, good. D -d -d you just keep piling them on in there. Right, come on. Come on, come on. They should go over it. They should take them two out. Two of them out. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. There we go. Right, so that's two of them. Oh, there's his, uh, there's his head there. Hello. Uh, right, now that guy's figured out where I am. <laughs> Even though the other two clearly knew where I was. Right, are you coming up here, buddy? Did you see what happened to the last ones? Oh, you guys are so stupid. Boom! <laughs> there we go. Possibly you've got the worst job. You guys have the, the, the naffest job in the Commonwealth. Suiciders. I mean, how did they talk you into that? It's looking good. We're looking okay. Now, I've been there before. I can't remember for the life of me why I was over there. I was doing something. A quest of some sort. Oh! A, a brotherhood... A vertibird has just appeared. Oh, that was it. 
the Vertu. It was it was part of the um, the mechanist. That was it because here's one of the robots. So these are hopefully Brotherhood people over here. Are they Brotherhood? Settlers. Oh god, safety. Something safe and nice and calm. Hurrah. Okay. But oh, why is there shooting? Why must there be shooting? It was all lovely and serene and calm, and you've come and ruined it with your big shooty shooters. Okay, we'll cut around the back of this church. I don't want to get involved in any scraps there. Uh, okay. What, what are they? Feral ghouls. Okay, that's probably not a bad thing. There's a bear moth over there. There's the glowing sea. I do love the fact that you can see the glowing sea. That is great. Do need to find that at some point. Oh! Oh my goodness. Why is the vertebrate an enemy? Why is the vertebrate coming up as an enemy? I don't understand that. Hang on, what? What? Is the vertebrate shooting at me? Is the vertebrate shooting at me? Because that that's not a normal thing. That kind of thing doesn't normally happen, does it? Did the vertebrate just fly away and leave all these people here on their own? I oh, know it, it is doing so. I'm a bit confused as to why it's a, a bad a bad vertebrate, and, and also I can't target it now for some reason. Hello, the vertebrate right there. Okay, it's vanished off the radar. Okay, don't care anymore. Let's just run this way. Let's just run past all these horrible things. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like exploring anymore. Not when I can only throw explosives. Speaking of which, let's equip explosives. Rather than forget and uh, start lobbing mines at people, that wouldn't be very good either. Oh no. Oh no. Vault 80, whatever it is, 88, is in here, is it? In a place full of people. Oh no, this could. This is terrible. This is terrible news. Okay, whereabouts is Vault 88? How do I get in here? Because this is like it's full of raiders. Terrifying, scary, angry raiders. Right, there's a door. There's a door just there. Now I could probably go in that. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, Raider Veteran. I have no qualms with you. You're you're fine. You're my friend. Are you my friend? I don't think anyone can get just here. The Vertibird's going to crash, as often happens. And the Vertibird is down. I suspect it's crashed. Okay. Right. I think Vault 80, whatever it is, is through there. Let's run. Let's run. Let's leg it through here. Bang, 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 bang. Right, there's a door here. Let's just run. Let's just get up. And go just here. There we go. Vault 88. Let's run through this gap really quickly. <laughs> I don't need to fight all those guys. I don't need to take up lots of time and lots of my precious dwindling resources. I'm fighting a load of kind of crappy old raiders. So let's just avoid them entirely. Cease at once. The vault doors were meant to withstand a direct nuclear strike. Your attempts to breach this facility are laughable. Leave at once, or there will be consequences. When will you tire of this futility? You talk a lot, don't you? I kept trying to interject there and you were saying lots of things. Okay, let's try and find our way in then, just to annoy these people. Oh! Oh, there's, 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 there's raiders. There's raiders literally right there. Hey, raider scum! Oh, brilliant. I'm glad that grenade bounced erratically off into the middle of nowhere. Right, you're... Oh, you're down, but you're you're fine. Yeah, that's good. You're down out of the way. For some reason, you haven't noticed me yet. Right, we can lob a grenade down there. That can probably take you out. Bang. No? Nothing? Fire. Let's throw some fire on you people. Fire. Just there. That's killed one of you. Oh, another one is still alive. Raider veteran. Come on. Come on. Just just, just give up now. Just give up. Yeah, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. You know it's going to happen. There we go. A little grenade. Boom! Shakalak. There you go. Right, you're gone. You're down and out. Is there anything up there? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, I love that. Stop. Don't worry, I'm cool. I'm fine. I'm, I'm nice. I'm not a baddie. And I'm not going to stop either because I want to go down here and see if he had anything on him. Please have explodey things. No, no explodey things. Not good enough. Okay. They want me to stop, but you can't stop me from opening the vault because I have a pip boy. So I can just. Uh, just pop the old vault open there. Oh, or, or I can't. I've leveled up. That's good. Oh, by the way, yes, I have two levels uh, now. I have two levels. You have a pit boy? Wait. Are you vault tech? Have you finally come to save me? Please. I'm trapped behind a mountain of rubble. The key to freeing me is getting the workshop operational. First... Lift the security lockdown and get to the reactor room. Okay, so the door's open. Right, yes, I am. Um, uh, security lockdown. Need to lift it. Okie doke, I'm on it. Yes, I. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Withered feral ghouls. There's ghouls. Okay, so it's not as easy as just walking in. There are monsters in there. 
I've now got two level ups, so please let me uh, let me know what you think I should do with them. I'm tempted to put one in the point of strength, just to increase carry weight a little bit. Don't know what to do with the one. Charisma, possibly? Charisma just to get cheaper prices for things? I don't really know what's in here. Oh, it's glorious. Three frag grenades. Okay, ghouls. Have a lovely explosive treat. Right there. Boom. That's one of them down. Right, I can't see any others. That's creep. Just creep around. Oh, it's a lovely looking vault. It looks splendid. Okay. Through this bit at the end, right? They want me to go that way. So that's where the security lockdown bit is. So is there anything elsewhere? Right, there's another ghoul. Right, let's lob a grenade. <laughs> that's going to be very painful. That is where you do not want a grenade to go off. If it had gone where it was. Oh dear. That would smart, wouldn't it? A baseball. I'll take that. <gasps> Duct tape. Yes. Woo! Take that. Right, is there anything else around here? Can I clear the place first? No other ghouls around that I can see. Ooh, bottle cap and stim pack. That's quite cool. Right, I'll take all those things. Okay. Vault tech workshop search. What? What's that? What's that? Search. It's work work without a control board. What is that supposed to even be? That's like a giant door. Okay, right. I'm going to do that later then, am I? Okay, everything's going to be locked, I assume. Everything's going to be locked down. Yeah, sliding door is locked. Okay, let's go and do the security thing. This is a bit mazy. Oh, no. Right, ghoul. Whee. There you go. Grenade in your bottom. Boom. Now you have no bottom because it's been removed. Splendid. Okay. I imagine it's around this corner then. I will take all of this stuff. Oh, hello. You're a ghoul. You're a ghoul. Let's, let's drop a mine for you to stand on, shall we? Let's run this way. Let's pop a little, little mine down. There we go. Little mine present. Yep, there we go. Good. I'm glad you're coming this way. <laughs> Bit of a delay, but you got there in the end. You, you, that is ridiculous. Oh, oh, right. And there's a wall there. I possibly should should, should go around that there. Look, ghoul fat. Seriously. The ghouls are just so stupid. Right, okay. I don't know how he managed to not take any damage at all from that. Well done him. That's very resilient of you, I suppose. Right, here's a baseball. Oh, for goodness sake. Am I going to have trouble with one flipping ghoul? Right, there's a baseball. Come towards me, you stupid ghoul. Hooray, 9 XP, and it only took most of my resources. Lovely. He had a gold watch on him. He was very protective of his gold watch. Ooh, shinies. Right, what's in here then? So security, sort of shut down thingamabob. Uh, is there anything worth robbing while I'm in here? Anything worth taking? Probably stim packs. They're a good thing to take. Uh, anything at folders? Oh, the free caps. Uh, nothing else, it seems. No, nothing in there. Caps in there. Okay. Uh, okay, we'll take that stuff. Right, I'm going to get out of the thing. I'm going to get out of the power armor because I don't want a stupid situation where I'm stuck again. So let's clamber out of this. And then there's a terminal. So you need to use the terminal to switch off the security lockdown or deactivate it or whatever. Right, security logs. What's this about then? So, uh, right, okay. So August 29th, finally got a real security system. I know the entrance is window dressing, but if Barstow keeps bringing the top brass around, it's my ass if something goes wrong. The construction crew keeps grinding about the new security measures. They can complain all they like. Okay. October 22nd, so the day before it all went wrong. Barstow is coming tomorrow. Another dog and pony show. Entrance is finally properly done. So if she brings VIPs, as long as they stick to that section, it'll feel like a real vault. Okay. Intriguing. Turns out the construction boys aren't so bad. Been having a friendly poker game. From the way things are going, they're going to be here a good long while yet. Got invited to some Halloween party. God knows we could use a little excitement round here. Oh, be careful what you wish for, sir, because... Bombs. Automated security lockdown. Nuclear detonation event detected. Automated Bartek emergency lockdown procedure initiated. <laughs> okay. Let's lift that now. There we go. The lights are on. Hooray. Vault-Tec workshops require their control board to function. During emergencies, the procedure is to store it in the reactor room. Look in there and you should find it. Who are you? Who are you, mysterious talky person? Can I not find out who you are? You could be like a completely crazed maniac who just wants to butcher everybody. I don't know that you didn't lock yourself in or that they didn't... That the other people in this vault didn't secure you behind this mountain of rubble that you did speak of. Uh, okay. So now I've got to go and find a control board. So, ah, are you behind here by any chance? There is certainly something down there. I imagine they might be behind that mountain of rubble there. Okay. Right, control board. 
Security Chief Anderson is looking like he's had a better day. Right, Security Chief Anderson. I think a plasma grenade would befit this. Here we go. Plasma grenade for you, Security Chief Anderson. You've mutated. Let's do that again. Another plasma grenade for you, Security Chief Anderson. Right, Security Chief Anderson's legs have fallen off. This is tremendous. Right. Five. Is five? I forget. I always forget my shortcuts. Yes, baseball grenade. Hurrah. Okay, Security Chief Anderson. Here's a baseball. Let's play catch. You idiot. You dropped it, you fool. Uh, how about a Molotov, then? Is that going to be enough for you? We and dead. 117 XP. Oh, I'm sorry, Security Chief Anderson. You're a bit crispy now. Ah, a vault to control board. <laughs> Splendid news. Uh, okay, I've got the control board. I thought Talky Lady was going to start talking. A kneecap a hunting rifle. Uh, it's not worth very much. Okay, whatever. I'll take it with me. I'll drop it if I have to. Nothing on there. What's that? A radio beacon. Activate. Ah, the thing's found. I, what, did it turn off? Okay, fine. Well, whatever. We'll leave that on. Right, what's this? Nuka Co. Oh, no, that's a bit of Security Chief Anderson. <laughs> I definitely don't want to drink that. Ugh. Uh, okay, so this was that big red thing then, wasn't it? That I didn't really understand what it was, but it needs a control board. Okay, so now fit the control board. Clear the rubble. You can now use the workshop at Vault 88. Okie doke. So now I can, what, just literally clear rubble by deleting it, can I? So scrap. Literally just scrap that and that. Oh, this is a bit weird. Oh, hang on. That came up as a segment. That whole bit of something there, look. This bit. Not the not the rubbish. This thing here, that's a bit weird. Okay, scrap that as well. And scrap that. Okay, there's someone there. Hello, Vault Survivor. Why can I select all the floor panels? This is a bit weird. Hello, Survivor person. All right, is anyone in here nice? Hang on, there's ghouls over there. Julie... Hang on, are these guys going to kill me? Are they going to kill me? I'm not going to be very happy if I'm having a chat with you and these guys come over and start trying to eat my legs. I like my legs. I like my legs attached where they are. I'm not being eaten. Hello? Hello. Hang on, let me get out of the power armor. This might be stupid because there's ghouls, but let's get out. You aren't what I was expecting. You do have a pip, boy. You're from a vault, but you're clean. Not with vault -Tec. Not with vault -Tec. What are you doing here? Why did you help me? I don't know if it's coming across. You're incredibly quiet. Um, okay, the radio beacon. I heard the vault -Tec radio beacon, and I came. Those intruders must have triggered it by attempting to force the main door. I wasn't actually expecting anyone to answer it. After all this time, my name is Valerie Barstow, and I was to be the overseer of this vault. But please, follow me. I have a proposal for you. It's been a hard 200 years. I was giving a tour of what was to be my pride and joy. My vault. Then, the earthquakes. Sirens. Many died. Perhaps they were lucky. The radiation. Somehow, I was spared. Julian, what is it? Sorry, he's not much of a... Stop, Julian! What are you doing? Julian! What are you doing? Julian! Okay, this isn't weird at all. Julian, what are you doing? They're coming up as red on my map marker. Oh, good. Well, that's just a doozy, isn't it? Right, they're coming to kill me. Splendid. Let's get in here and not get killed. Right. Oh, thanks for leading me into a trap. That's lovely. Right, I might have to kill Julian. I'm very sorry. Julian needs to be dead. There you go, Julian. The construction crew didn't fare as well as me. No, they don't. The ghouls don't seem to like me very much. Um, are they still? Oh, there's only one. It's only a gangrenous feral ghoul, and his leg is off. It seems. Right, hang on. We could do with one of the. No, no, no. One of those then. If he's got his leg off, we can do that. He can stand on that, and it can hurt him. And then that can probably hurt him as well if he stands on it. No, he seems to be immune. He seems immune to the uh, to the mines that are blowing up next to him. There we go. Three mines it took to kill him. <laughs> okay. Military grade duct tape. Uh, it just say what was the what was the current goal? What was the goal? Hang on, what what am I supposed to do? Kill all the feral ghouls. Follow the overseer. Okay, brilliant. So, all the feral ghouls. It's better to put the poor fellows out of their misery at last. Yes, I can imagine it is. Right. So there's more feral ghouls for me to dispatch. Splendid. Thanks for bringing me here, then, lady. That's really good. Do what I have to do. I'm going to. Right. 
You're dead. Another ghoul is now alerted to my existence. Oh, it's a it's a glowing one. It's a glowing one. It's a glowing one. It's a glowing one. Right, okay. Okay. I think it might be time for a plasma mine. Come this way, glowing one. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a thing there. There's a thing behind me. <laughs> Boom. Right, hopefully that's taking his legs off or something. Yes. Beautiful. His legs are down. Right. Uh, oh, no, not fire. No, not fire. That will not be enough. How about... A baseball grenade. Baseball grenade under your chin. Bang. Wow, you have a very resilient chin. And again. Bang. Oh my goodness. And another one. It's better to put these poor fellows out of their misery at last. So you've been living with them like this for ages. Why didn't you just get rid of them? Right, that's those three gone. Okay, there's a couple more over this way. One there. What are you? A withered feral. So you'll probably need something a little bit more... Uh, arduous, a little bit more hard wearing than a baseball grenade. Boom. That's you out the way. And the last one is across there. Okay. Can I can I get that? Ooh, could I do that? That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? There we go. And bang. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. That didn't work at all then. Never mind. Right. He is going to run blindly towards me. Frag mine round the corner in the middle there. He cannot avoid that frag mine. If he's coming this way at all. Yes, he is. Hello. Come on. Tread on the lovely frag mine. It's a lovely trap for you. He avoided the frag mine. <laughs> Damn you, ghouls. How very dare you. There you go. Got you that time. Uh, and also me, but never mind. Um, okay. Right. He's he's done. <laughs> couldn't possibly avoid the frag mine. Oh, he avoided the frag mine. Right. And down. Okay. They're all done. They're all dead, I think. Yes, all the feral ghouls are now dead. Thanks for uh, thanks for bringing me to a place full of things that want to kill me. That's 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 truly great. Yeah. Cheers. What's that? That's some sort of part of a reactor or something. Oh my goodness me! That looks horrendous. Why can't I move? That looks horrendous. I'm not getting radiated from it though. I don't think it just looks bad. Okay, right. Where's the lady that decided to just have a sit down while I was fighting for my life? I've just freed her. She could have. Um, she could have at least tried to help. Changed everything, but there was simply too much rubble for the equipment to handle. But my work kept me going. Here, among these papers, is my life's work. I'd like to share it with you. Doctor Braun tasked me with something vital: a series of prototypes and their related. Well experiments that could redefine society but as you can see things did not go according to plan no indeed because it's vault tech and vault tech ah, they... <laughs> vault tech are terrible people um what experiments enlightened me with what terrible things vault tech had in mind for this vault what are these experiments ingenious devices that will improve the efficiency and health of a community. They are admittedly prototypes and may have a design flaw or two, but nothing that can't be fixed with some elbow grease. Okay, right. Who's oh, Dr. Braun presumably comes up with all the things, but let's find out who is Dr. Braun. You mentioned Dr. Braun? Who is he? Dr. Braun is the head of the Societal Preservation Plan. A brilliant scientist and administrator. And, no doubt, dead. A tremendous loss. Okay, right. Um, either I'm listening, or a tough break, or vault are swines. Ah, uh, Betty. Okay, I'm gonna go for the. I'm gonna go for the. Uh, for the nice. The nice generic option of I'm listening. Go on. This vault was meant to be spacious, full of trained staff. Trusted subordinates and scientists. Despite how things have played out, I see opportunity. Let us work together as partners. To do what? What am I doing this for? Do you know what? I'm going to ask for money, because why not? If I can try and get some cash to buy some more exploding things, let's give it a go. If you need me so bad, make it worth my while. What I want is a partner. But if money will convince you... Here, take this. Do we have a deal? I didn't see how much we've got. A pre-war, that's no use. 
Uh, okay, what's my role? What am I going to be doing? What What is going on? What's my role? I recognize that you are in a superior bargaining position. I'll handle the mundane nuts and bolts of vault management. Anything you want, I'm happy to accommodate. All I ask is you run the prototype experiments. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's just get on with it. Let's do this then. Good. Excellent. We cannot begin until I have my overseer's desk to run the experiments. The information in the desk's terminal will prove vital. I entrust you with the future of our vault. Vault 88. Yeah, I don't like the fact that it's Vault 88. I like the fact that it's Betty's vault. The vault of Betty. Uh, let's take that bubble gum. Let's take that typewriter and let's take all those things as well. And the purified water. Uh, okay. Build the overseer's desk, it says. Have I got to clear all this out? Is this going to be a great big... I've ne With this DLC, I've never played it, as you can probably tell because I don't know what's going on. I've never, ever watched anyone do anything with this. I've never seen anyone play it. I've never watched a Let's Play. I've never really done anything with it at all. So I genuinely am completely in the dark. Am I supposed to go through and scrap all this stuff? Can I scrap literally everything? Oh my goodness me. Okay. Oh, literally oh my god, right. Everything. Down to the floor... Down to the atrium floor, which is clearly broken, so and it's rubbly. So, oh, oh, lots of things. Just about, hang on, what? How far can we go back? That's a bit of wall. That's a bit of wall. Oh my goodness me. Um, okay, right. What I'm going to do is that's massive. That thing was massive. Um, I assume this is all going into the uh, into a scrap thing somewhere. North sector. Can I scrap that? Oh, that's a that's a shame. Ooh, a rock slide. What does that give me? Steel and concrete. Okay. It, it, that's gone a bit green and weird. What's down there? That's the edge of the viable building area, is it? What's down there? Uh, okay, I don't like the look of it down there. I'll go and have a look at there in a bit. Okay, what I'm going to do is then, I'm going to clear everything. I'm going to bin everything in this whole massive area, which is surprisingly vast. It's huge. Look at it. There's so much stuff. There's tables and benches and everything. So we'll have everything. We'll clear out every bit of stuff. Uh, and then we'll come back with our content. That's exciting. Yeah, all this stuff. Look, bump. Yeah, we'll have that. Yeah, we want your chair, madam. We want. I can't have your chair. I can't have your chair. Well, that's just irritating, isn't it? Um, yeah, so we might as well make this a massive space that we can just work in. If we've got to build stuff, I don't want to it sort of fill the clutter and kind of junk and stuff. So let's clear it all out and have a nice, lovely sort of free, nice sandbox area to play with. Okay, so most of the stuff has now been scrapped, apart from a few interesting things over here, which I thought I should have a look at a bit more closely. So vault Super Reactor Shield. What do I get for that? Lots of lovely things. Ceramic and copper and aluminium. Another bit of the shield. Here's some sort of platform. Yeah, get rid of that. Should I be getting rid of these? There we go. A vault Super Reactor Shield. Another one of those lovely things. And then this thing here, the actual Super Reactor Core. Now, what am I going to get from scrapping this? 20 nuclear material. Oh, it's beautiful. And yes, look, you can. It, it gets to the point where you can actually scrap this. Railroad tracks. Look at that. They just all go. It's amazing. And doing this has freed up quite a lot of other areas. There's lots of secret bits. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Go back into there. Yeah, let's scrap those train tracks. Yes, beautiful. There we go. So there's places like down here, look. Like, what's what's the point of all this? Where does this take us? It's a big corridor. Is it going to be full of terrifying monstery monsters? Doesn't look it. It's outside of the buildable area, so I can't, like, scrap anything. Oh, right, yes. That's full of terrifying monstery monsters. Uh, okay, what type of mon... Oh, wrong button. What type of monstery monsters are you? You should be okay if I drop one of those in. You should be fine. This should kill you both, I would have thought. Yep, okay. Well, certainly you're not very well. You're quite injured. Oh, and your legs are... Oh, there were three of you in there. Okie dokie. Right, okay, have some fire. You can have fire. Boom. There you go. You're dead. And, uh, yeah, a big explosion happened. That's fine. That's good. So, yeah, there's all these sort of secret bits like around here. Sort of what's in here? There's green glowy stuff in there. I don't really trust anything that's green and glowing. Uh, uh, Volta Control Board East Sector. Oh, okay. Ah, right. I'm going to have to come to these places anyway, aren't I? And pick up these things. Right, this is all radiation-y. 
I don't know if this is a good place to be or not. Is something supposed to come out of there that's terrifying? That's quite a horrible image, isn't it? Um, yeah, we'll have that. We'll have duct tape. Woo! Right, anything in these? Anything in these? In these lockers? Splendid, splendid, splendid. Nothing much. Bit in there. Lovely. Okay, right. So I think I need to explore these these extra bits as well because there's going to be stuff in them, isn't it? I've got to do stuff with. Uh, nothing around this one though. It's all a bit dull. Oh, this is massive. Okay, this goes up. Mylux. One of my least favourite things, Mylux. Than mole rats and bloodworms and everything else. All the insects, all the wildlife is all terrifying. Right, here you go. Have that. Blow up, please, now. Thank you very much. Oh, its shell came clean off. Its shell actually just came off. Oh, right. Oh, you look a bit cross. You're, you're probably not very happy with me, are you? Okay, let's put down a plasma mine. A legendary glowing mine. It's, it's gone away. Okay. Right. That was a surprise. Uh, what about a frag grenade? A regular frag grenade on you. Oh, you're going away, though. This is weird. Uh, how about there, look? See if that does anything to you. See if it damages you a bit. Right, okay. Yep, so that's made you uh, sort of regenerate in your Time Lordy way. Okay, there. That's gone right near your feet. Come on, come on. Take it down. Uh, uh. Oh, my like me. Yummy. Okay, is that thing just very slowly crawling toward me? Okay, how about a couple of lovely frag mines? Right there, right up in your bill. There you go. Are you going to come this way? Are you managing to work out that I'm around a corner? No? You're confused by corners. I know they're very complicated, aren't they? No, you, you've completely forgotten where I am. Hello, I'm here. I'm here, you stupid creature. Come this way. Right, now I'm just going to back off a little bit because I'm scared that I'm going to get killed by my own mines. Yes, trigger the mines, trigger the mines, trigger the mines, and you are dead. Legendary. You might well be legendary, but you're also rubbish. Poisoner's machete. Oh, good. That was worth the effort, wasn't it? Okay, so here's another bit. Ooh, 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 that's a little bit more terrifying. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, that's a little bit scarier than I was hoping for. Right, you. You, have a, have a nice explodey thing. And kill it dead. All right, okay, you've certainly hurt it. You've certainly hurt it very much in the face. Right, and... Okay, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. We'll have all that. Right, are there any more terrifying... Mo Is that a Mylurk Queen? Oh, good. <laughs> Mylurk Queen! Um, okay. Is it time to use our last Merv? Is it time to use the last Merv? Okay, I think it might be. It might be Merv time. Right, I'm going to try and creep. That thing has not seen me, inexplicably. It doesn't know where I am. It, it moves around very weird. So if I can creep up on it, get the Merv to kick in. Hello. Can you go away, please? I need to throw this thing at you. I can hear something coming to what? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, that thing just kind of teleported next to me. That's fine. Right, blow up thing. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I possibly missed with that. I didn't do the best shot, to be honest. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of melting. I'm kind of melting a bit. Possibly need to heal up a bit. Uh, death for stake. That'll do. That'll heal me up nicely. Right, weapons. Back down to plasma grenades, I think. Plasma grenades are going to be what's going to do this. Right, one down there. And another one down there. Let's see how well that does. So let's see how hurt Ms. Mylurk is. Are you are you nearly dead? Yes, you are. Oh, and now the, the ultimate insult. Killed by a baseball grenade. Here we go. Die. Baseball grenade. Boom. <laughs> Killed by a baseball. What a terrible way to go. But quite American. There you go. Good old America. Right, we'll have that. You're, you're dead. You're dead, right? Are you still dead? Yes, you're still dead. Lovely. Okay. So this is presumably flooded then. This room is going to be flooded. Let's just equip frag grenades just in case something stupid happens and another one of those things comes out the ground or whatever. But no, all this looks looks kind of okay, I suppose. I think there was a bit of a glitch there. I don't think that My Lurk Queen was supposed to spawn over there because all of a sudden it magically appeared in the middle of the room. I don't think that was supposed to happen. I think that might have gone wrong a little bit. Am I supposed to turn these valves, do we reckon? Let's this turn the pumps. Ah, I'm getting ahead of myself. But I am clearing the stuff out. So that's good. That's another bit clear. Uh, okay, right. Let's run back up here then. And let's find uh, another little sort of bit that we've got to go into. The presumably bit where I've got to start the power up. And I bet there's another bit over there, which is water where we just were. So, yeah, let's go and find another one of these little tunnels to explore.
Okay, here's one. There's a very small thing on the map. What is that? A rabid mole rat. Now, if possible, can I kill that from up here? I want to kill all the mole rats from way up high. Can I lob a grenade down there? It's just to there, say, so then it bounces onto the mole rats. Can I kill many mole rats? Oh, what was that? There was certainly something else there as well. There was something big behind that. Was that just a big mole rat? Uh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. There's something there. There's something. Oh, it's a mole rat brood mother. And it's somehow come out of nothing and it's eaten. Oh, I've fallen. Ah, okay. Ah, ah, right. Okay. Okay. I might be in trouble. I might have possibly jumped precisely where I don't want to go. Quick. Onto these big metal crates. They can't kind of burrow through those. Splendid. Where are you? Bloody mole rats. Why do they put mole rats in here? What's that? There's something just there. What's that? Like a glowing thing. Mole rats. Where are you? Oh, look. Bits of vault. Bits of incomplete vault, look. That's like a kid's room. And bits of corridor and stuff. How weird is that? Right, the brood mother has appeared and then ran away. Oh, I don't like this at all. Okay, okay. What about if we put down... They're going to come out of there. We'll have a frag mine or two around. Let's just see if we can get... Kill them with frag mines. This is a accidentally run onto them and kill them with frag mines. That'll be quite funny. Right, okay. Many frag mines. Here we go. Come on, come on. Must be able to kill them. Must be able to kill them. Oh, and I'm killing myself in the process. This is a terrible idea. This is a stupid idea, stupid idea, stupid idea. Who said to come here? Oh, no, there's millions of mole rats. Uh, I don't like mole rats. Right, get onto a thing. Get onto something. Get onto high ground. High ground is probably good. You, come here. Boom. Missed. Broodmother's just there, though, and I think the broodmother might be glitching, uh, fortunately. Fortunately for me. Oh, beautiful. Okay, what can we throw at them? I think just a regular grenade might do that. I'm being eaten. I'm being eaten by something, but I need to kill those broodmothers. Bang. Are they both dead? Then they might both be gone. Yes, they're both gone. There's another brood mother. <laughs> are they all brood mothers? Where's the brood? Where is the brood? That doesn't make any sense. Where are the brood mothers? Uh, where's the brood that they are brood mothering? Right, have all that. Oh god, there's still stuff down there. <laughs> so much. Right, you've got some stuff. For some reason, you've got a shot glass. I'll have a drink, please. I need a drink after this. Right, we'll have all that stuff. Okay, where are you then? Where are you going to come up next? There. Right, okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. I can cope with that. Bang. That exploded miles away. Come this way. Come this way over my well-placed mine that was in no way fortunately placed. Okay. Where's that? That's coming at me from... Oh, they've gone. They've gone. They've gone. They've gone off the map marker. Okay, can we can we explore this? Can we go upstairs? Oh, we can. <laughs> oh, this is a little bit creepy, isn't it? Please be explosives. Uh, no, not good enough. Not explosives. Fail. F for fail. Anything exciting around here? Can we see the mole rats from up here and kill them from up on high? Because that would be flipping perfect if we could. That would be a dream. Right, no. Let's jump onto this. Mole rats. Any any, any mole rats? Any advance on where the mole rats are? Uh, no, but it just landed on my grenade. <laughs> my mind, sorry. Yay! Yay. Oh, that's just a rabid mole rat. Maybe that is one of the normal ones. Uh, okay, I might need some of that stuff. And let's take on a bit of aid as well. Gator Claw Steak. Gives me a point of agility as well. That will help me an awful lot. Okay, so this bit seems to be clear, he says, somewhat fearfully. This bit seems to be okay. Lots of concrete sort of end post pillar things. Right, what's around the corner then? There's a bit here. Oh, a box. No, no, not explosives boxes. Failed. Failure. What was round here then? More mole rats? Some sort of terrifying mole rat monster creation? God, this place is a mess, isn't it? This place did not work at all well. Okay, there's a mole rat coming out of the ground just there because I can see it poking up. I can see you just there. I can see you just there. You're not fooling anybody. Right, have some fire. I can't see. Ow! Okay, mole rat brood mothers are very, very, very hurty. Where are you? Oh, yep, you're still hurty. And some more fire. More fire for you. And I'm hurt. And last bit of fire for... You! There we go. Lots of lovely flames. Uh, oh, right. There's something else coming to kill me. Run. Fusion core removed. Run this way. Run, 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 run. Run this way. Right, there's one in there. <sighs> Gone. Burrowed away. Come back, you buggers. Come back. 
Yep, you've come back. Good. Right. Hello. Have some fire. Right. Can I? <laughs> can I not keep setting myself on fire? Could I possibly frag grenade, frag mine you if I get the chance? Uh, like to put it just say there. Oh, goodness me. There's an awful lot of them. Oh, my goodness me. There's a, there's a lot. There's a lot of mole rats going on. Here. High ground is good. Let's try and throw things down there. There's an awful lot of noises then. Oh, they're coming from they're coming from the other direction. Oh god. <laughs> I don't like more rats. Ow! Okay, Betty's got a leg blown off. Oh, the power armor's gonna be in absolute tatters. The power armor is gonna be in so many big, horrible bits. Right, okay. Yeah, you're are you a brood mother by any chance? Because that's all you seem to be. Um how can I kill one of these easily? I can't really they're, they're too quick. Too, just too fat. Oh, and a ghoul as well, just for just for fun, eh? Yeah, just just for a laugh. Oh, good. Right, some fire on you. Now I need to run. I need to run up here. Where oh, there's a ghoul. There's a ghoul. Go away, ghouls. Got mole rats aplenty coming out of my ears. I don't want ghouls as well. In fact, could you fight each other, please? That'd be beautiful. If you could have a little scrap with each other, that'd be great. And then, uh... oh, here you are. You are as well. Right. Well, let's kill both of you then. Oh no, I didn't kill both of you. No, and it was always going to happen, wasn't it? <sighs> Bother. Right, let's go and do all that horrible, horrible, horrible stuff again and get to exactly where I was, but be less dead. Right, okay, I've tried something a bit different. I'm just here, so I've climbed up this ladder. So rather than standing around at the bottom... Oh, I didn't think that would cause me quite as much damage as it did. Clearly it is causing me damage from standing up here. I thought if I get up high onto this bit, I could lob mines down at the bottom and see if it could kill them as they come out the ground. But they don't seem to be coming out the ground anymore. That's a bit annoying. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I ran through. So there's probably more of them alive. So I literally did leg it through. Ah, you're coming out of there, are you? Okay. Right. Drop a little, drop a little mine down. Just that. Brilliant. I'm glad that blew up in my own face. Blowing up on, what? Nothing, it seems. Uh, hopefully, let's equip uh, Molotovs again. There should be less... Mole rats, because there can't be. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Ooh, what was that? Oh, I thought that was some sort of way through. Um, No. What's behind there, then? I don't know. Oh, there's certainly a person there. There's something there. A withered feral ghoul is behind there, but I can't get through. I wonder if that's part of the quest progression, then. I wonder if you have to sort of come here and start working on these bits as well. This looks very high up and very big. Where where am I? Why is that covered in slime? Uh, oh no, it's radiation. It's radioactive slime. Hurrah! My favourite type of slime. Okay. So where is this? This is the north sector. Did I come in in the north sector? Am I in the buildable area? No, I'm not. Okay. This place is huge. Um, Where do I go from here? Do I just wander about and find some stuff? No, more more grenade crates, please. Uh, okay, fine. Well, let's go down here then. Let's go down here. I have a feeling I possibly shouldn't be doing all this exploring now. I possibly should have just got on with the main quest line, and then she might give me a map or something. But it's quite fun to explore. I like exploring. It's good. Uh, okay. Now I'm completely lost. This is some sort of train station. This is a station. I'm in danger apparently. Let's throw some fire onto you. Right, you're dead. That was a sneak attack, allegedly. Good. Right, more fire. More fire required. Burning, lots of flames. Come on, ghouls, run through the fire. Run through the flames, you pitiful creatures. And you are down as well. Okay, please be explosives. No, again, not good enough. Okay, this place is big. This is a big, big place. No, nothing there. Right, now I'm just a bit lost, if anything. So there was an actual train station to this place as well. There's an actual sort of subway type thing to it. Okay, wow, they went full on. They went all out for this kind of thing, did they? Okay, must be able to get back up here somehow. Uh, oh, yeah, some fire. You'll do. You're dead. Splendid. Fire. Always good on ghouls. Right, take that out. Can we get on the train? A stalker. You might be slightly harder to kill. You're not slightly harder to kill. Splendid. Good news. Uh, there's another hole in the wall. Which leads where? Where does this lead? Um, can we get on the train? Is is that something we want me to do? Doesn't look like we can get on that train. The angle looks too ridiculous. Okay, what's up here then? Oh, nothing. Rubble. Okay, so we can't go up there where there's rubble. 
Let's cut along in here then. Pick up whatever's in there, because there's going to be something in there. Okay, no, no ghouls, apparently. Oh! There's ghouls. Oh, very good. Yeah, okay, fine. Yes, funny. Uh, how about a plasma mine? Just pop the little plasma mine down and run this way. Hopefully they'll trigger that. Lovely. Does he have any legs? Oh yes, he's got legs. He's got he's got legs. He's got his legs still on. That's all right. Not for much longer. You haven't got your legs on. And no, nope, you've you've completely avoided that that mine. Even though you were next to it, you avoided it. Splendid. Good job. Now you're dead. There you go. Bye bye. And there's a lot of ghouls coming in. <laughs> a lot of ghouls. Right. More grenades required. More grenades. Just some normal grenades. Legendary gangrenous. Right. And you're gone as well. Okay. Let's take all that stuff. So what's down here then? Okay, this is mystifying. There's some more stuff to explore. And a, and, a, and a crappy item as well. Wow, these ghouls are carrying some absolute tat. Okay. Oh, there's a vault box. I wonder what's in there. Oh, nothing. Great. Thanks, vault -Tech. Ah, the north control board. Okay, so I'd have to come through and find these anyway. For one, imagine. So yes, yeah, this is probably not a bad thing doing this. Oh, is that the other side of where I was? Ah, that might have been the other side of where I just was. Okay, that's cool. So I found that. Uh, right, okay, let's get away from the radiation-y thingies. Let's go back. Uh, it was this way, wasn't it? There was a way through here. So let's see what we find through here. Through, where was it? There's a hole in the wall. There, let's see what you find through here. Okay, more mole rats. Not particularly happy about finding even more mole rats to get in my face. Oh no, that's a grenade. That's a grenade. I didn't mean to throw a grenade. I thought I had thingies equipped. Right, you're just really irritating, mole rats. Right, can I can I lure you this way? Can I drop a mine down? I can't drop a mine, though. That's the only thing. They're, they get so near. They get so up in your face. Uh, what can I eat? What can I have that's just really easy? Not mole rat meat, no, because it's not nice. Um, purify. Well, I could drink some water. That might do a little bit of healing. Rat scorpion egg omelette. Rat scorpion steak. Uh, yeah, what, ribeye. That'll do. That'll add some health on. That'll do. And then, can I do this? Can I throw that down onto you? Oh, good. You've entirely avoided my little trap there. Bang. Right, okay. That didn't kill you, but it nearly killed me, which is which is splendid news. That's good fun. Right, come this way. Yay, you tread on the other mine. <laughs> yeah, you fell for my really, really intentional trap there, because I meant for that to happen. Right, let's try going up here again. But uh, hopefully not miss any mole rat mum mums. Mole rat mums this time. Uh oh, combat music. There's combat music. I can hear fighting music and I don't really know why I don't like the fighting music. I'm going to run away. Okay, I'm just finding my way through this big, big, empty, horrible, terrifying place. I don't like this as well. This is too empty. This is too empty. Oh, goodness me. There are many mole rats all over the place. Let's try and blow them up from afar if we can. Yeah, okay, that did a good job. Oh, they're coming up behind me now, are they? Oh, you think you're so funny. Uh, did I come this way before? No, I don't think I did. Okay, yeah, you're funny, but there's going to be a grenade going off next to your head. Which you've avoided by turning into the ground, you swines. I love that battery. I love that stuff. Uh, I love all that stuff. Oh, good, you're right up in my face and I can't get out. That's good fun. Right, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to leg it up here and hope that I can get away from them. What's here? Uh, oh, I've literally done a massive loop. I've done a huge loop and gone round the corner, have I? Right, you. Oh, so <laughs> stop burrowing away as soon as I throw a grenade. <laughs> you swines. Okay, I know you're going to come back. So let's just do this. Let's throw a grenade. Let's see if that kills you. No, it's not going to kill you. You're too far away. Fire. Fire is what I want. Fire. Hurt you a tiny bit. Lady, can you help? Can you help do some shooting at the mole rats, please? Because they are hurting me quite a bit. No, no, you're not, not going to bother. You're going to cower. You're going to cower. Brilliant. Thanks for cowering. That's really helpful. Yeah, you're just there now. Okay, okay. I need to maid. So let's take on another... What's a roasted bloodworm give me? Rad resist. Oh, that's hardly anything. Do you know what? Let's eat both of those because... It takes up weight, and I don't really need to carry them. And let's have a stim pack. Let's heal all the way up to the top. And then, frag mine time. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of you, mole rat brood mother. So if you run this way, if you follow me... Oh, uh, no. You just thought you'd, uh, you'd go and hide again. Splendid. That's fun, isn't it? Hello. Come back. And boom. 
There you go. That's going to hurt you. The power armor legs are knackered. Oh, and she's ran away again. The last one. Come on. I must be able to kill you with some fire. You must be. Oh, praise be. <laughs> yes. You have gone. Okay. Right, hi, lady. I'm sorry. Did I, I didn't catch you with any fire or anything. Did I? No. Okay, good. Uh, okay, good. Right, hiya. What did you want? <laughs> you wanted a desk or something? I can't remember. I can't remember. It was very involved. Uh, what's my carry weight like? 273. Oh, no, I should be all right with that, I think. Why is the combat music still happening? Why am I still in danger? No danger. No more danger. I'm not in danger. I'm danger free. I gave up danger a long while ago. No more danger. Uh, okay. So, I think I got three control boards, didn't I? I got the north sector, the east sector, and the something else sector. Uh, okay, let's come out of the power armor. Uh, oh no, let's, let's press entirely the wrong button to start with. That's good, isn't it? Um, do I want to come out of the power armor? If if there's baddies? <laughs> I don't know if I do. Uh, no, I'm going to come out of the power armor. I'm going to come out of the power armor. I'm going to jump out of the power armor at some speed, it seems. Uh, no, okay. No baddies yet. It seems to think I'm in danger. Uh, maybe I need to go and stand really, really far away. Just, just to sort of really force the fact that the danger has gone. Nope. Still danger. I'm still in danger from who knows what. Right, what's this taking me here to do? Why is it taking me to this thing to do anything? So it says, Vault Tech, wait, what, what's my current thing? My current thing is to build the overseer's desk. Can I not do that from somewhere else? Do I have to do it from here specifically? I genuinely don't know. So is there a special Vault Tech only bit at the end or something? Desks. Where's desks? Furniture? Beds, chairs, containers, shelves, miscellaneous. But where is the Vault Tech Overseer's desk? I don't know where it is. Can you give me a hand? Special? Uh, Vault Tech desk. Okay, so presumably I could have built that from anywhere. Okay, fine. So let's go along here then. Let's just put it near her and she can just get on with the stuff that she needs to do. Here we go. Yeah, you can have it just here for now. We'll build you a new one because this is a stupid place for it. We'll put it there for now. Overseer's desk. I mean, it's not in the most glamorous of places, but I suppose it'll do for now. If you're facing the wrong way, there you go. Well done. That's how chairs work. I mean, what's powering this computer? I don't know. I've literally plonked it on the ground. Unless it's drawing energy from the floor or something mysterious. I don't know. Can you hurry up and do your typing, please? No rush. Hello? Oh, I'm supposed to talk to you now, am I? Okay, hello. Valerie. This. Please. I beg your indulgence. I've waited so long, but we must not dally. The work compels us. The vault was supposed to have a very specific set of residents. After all, to conduct human trials, you need the perfect test subjects. You are a maniac. Okay, find a guinea pig want to leave perfect subjects or won't hurt anybody. Uh, no, perfect subjects, what do you mean? So what makes perfect test subjects? Healthy. Well, healthy enough. And people we can get an accurate baseline on quickly. And they need a willingness to take on a certain element of risk. So gullible people then. Okay, fine. We're not going to hurt... What, shall I put won't hurt anybody? I don't really want to hurt anybody particularly. Are they nice innocent tests? I'm not like, you know, taking blood from them and turning them into mutants or anything, am I? I don't want to hurt anybody. I'm not going to toy with people's lives. Think of the greater good here. But fine. You're running the experiments. If you choose a risk-free path, it will compromise the value of the research. But that's on your head. Choose wisely. Now, I see you've already turned on the vault's radio beacon. Good. While we wait for word to spread, perhaps you might use this time to explore Vault 88. If you can clear some of the rubble, you may be able to access some of the other building sectors. Any materials or equipment that survived may prove useful in our experiments. Are you joking? Are you actually joking? I've just explored this place. I've explored the place so much my power armor is in tatters. It's falling apart. Okay, Oh. She's very dramatic when it's combat time. Am I still in danger? Yep, still in danger from who knows what. Okay, right. Well, most of it should be clear, apart from maybe some mole rats. So, um, 
explore Vault 88 and turn on the Vault Tech workshop in all those different bits. Now, fortunately now, I have map markers. So this should make things a lot easier. So let's go and turn on the, was it three? Was it three of them? Northeast, east and north. Yes, there's only three and I've got the three control board things. So let's go and turn these, whatchamacallit, on. Oh, of course, it's these things I should have realized, shouldn't I? Right, activate that one. Splendid. Oh, and now this becomes an area that I can build in as well, does it? This becomes now a usable area. Okay, right, I see. Well, let's do this. Let's dredge the water out then, shall we? Because that was a thing. So we can act. Can we activate that? Activate. No, we can't activate that, it seems. Okay, what about... So we're going to turn this one on. Is it worth turning that as well? Hello, that one? Nothing. Okay. I thought that might have cleared the water by now, but never mind. I'm going to stomp through my power armor. This might take forever. Okay, but that one's done. Okay, fine. Whatever. I'm not so bothered. Not so bothered about clearing all the water out. Unless there's something at the bottom that's worth having. Like, is there a bit around the back to turn the power on? What's that? How do I get to that there? How am I supposed to get to that just there? <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Let's explore this a little bit more, actually. This might be worth exploring. What's around the back? Okay, I can't seem to activate any of the switches on that thing at all, but maybe it's because it still considers me in danger. I think something might have glitched out I mean, my, uh, in between all my fights with those mole rats, and I kind of... Look, it says I'm still in danger, when clearly I'm not, because there's nothing around. So um, what I'll do is I'll come back to that. At the start of the next part, I will reload the game. And hopefully I will not be in danger still because that would be a little bit tedious, wouldn't it? And then I should be able to react with that. So the next part, I'm going to go do the other two bits now and sort of activate the alt tech workshops in the north and northeast sector. But at the start of the next part, we'll try and switch that thing in my bob on that we just saw. Right, so let's go this way. This is where the baddies were. So we can come across these first. Let's just let our action points heal a little bit. I'm going to go down this way, I think, first. And then try and find wherever it is that we need to switch on down here. And then go and do the last one, which is what, the north sector. And then go back and speak to the lady again. Okay, here's the north sector one then. So activate that. Lovely. And there's the one more remaining. So that must be the one where it had the... Can we go through that way? No, we very much can't. Uh, it must be where they had the uh, sort of part-built vault. Ah, it's more this way, I suspect. Okay, so let's go and find that one. Ah, no, it's just hit. There's a box there. Please be exploded. No, rubbish, terrible box. Okay, yep, yeah, and this one as well. So let's activate that. This won't work without a control board. Find the control board. It can't be too far away, surely. I thought I picked up all the three control boards. Okay, fine. Let's go and find the control board. Ah, it was in here. It was in the room of terrifying horror. Yeah, because of you, swines. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like it in this room. Okay, it must be down here then. Is it at the bottom here? Ah, there was a little room that I didn't go into. Yes, I will certainly take that control board. Thank you very much. I'll also take some of that stuff and that as well. Last one, Northeast Sector. Splendid. Okay, there we go. I've turned all those things on. Now what do I need to do? Do I go back and talk to the lady again? I've no idea. I'm still in danger. Oh, I've completed Explore Void. <laughs> yes, at least that's something. Right, how do I get back to that woman then? Okay, right. So there are some people that have heard the beacon broadcast thing and they've come in. So these are three potential test subjects. There's the overseer saying, hooray, you can find some terrible, mean, kind of torturous tests. But uh, yeah, they're willing to wait. So that's fine. You've got to wait a little while because we are going to call it quits just there. But I think that uh, it could have gone better. Let's be honest. It could have gone better. Mole rats. Everything was fine until we came across the mole rats. And then it all went to bits. It all went wrong at the mole rats. Um, I do like the way that these like, they're like, wow, look at this. Nice. So yeah, wait till you get around a few corners and then observe how nice the vault is. Oh, uh, wait, there isn't a vault. There we go. I've kind of failed to build one. Whoops. We haven't got a vault at all. So is this what they're all like? Are they all like this? It's a giant empty structure and then they're modular bits built in. I wish that they were tunneled in. But no, clearly not. Clearly they are like this. Which is intriguing. I hadn't sort of suspected that. But okay, there we go. So we've kind of cleared it out. We've done that. So the next bit I think is going to be a silly bit where we end up burning some vault stuff. And we put some tests in for the people. And when I get to choose the nice tests or the mean tests, I'm going to pick the nice tests probably. Need to move that uh, overseer desk thing around as well because it looks stupid. So I'm guessing I've got vault components to build device structures uh 
Vault ones? Ah, vault structures. Domestic, utility, wide halls. Oh my goodness me. Oh, this is going to be lovely. I can make Vault Betty an end of a corridor. Oh, yes. Hang on. What else is there? Rooms? Common room, cafeteria. They're edges. They're walls. Oh, yes. Look, you can make cafeteria in the middles of cafeterias. What's that? An atrium? Oh, my goodness. So you can have multiple levels. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to be here forever. Stairs. Completely pointless. Supports. I don't even need supports, but I'll probably put some in just for the sake of it because it's fun. Okay. And is there sort of fern? Is there decor now? Vault decor or something? Decorations. Vault. Vault. Vault decorations. Yes. Okay. I might have already had these before, but look at all the things. Little consoles and boxes and things like that. Oh, it's very exciting. And inexplicably Christmas trees for some reason. I don't know why. Merry Christmas, everybody. Okay, right. That's going to be very, very cool. I don't know quite how it works. So, uh, next part, what we're going to do is we'll go... Am I still in danger? Yeah, I'm still in danger. Clearly, that's glitched. I'm going to go down there. Uh, when we reload and I'll try and switch on the pump thing down there because I don't think it was working because I was in danger so when I'm not in danger I will switch that on and then we will come back and we will help the overseer interview some candidates and then we will need to build ourselves a fairly swanky exciting vault and I think this is plenty of room this is plenty of room to build a lovely exciting kind of multi-level vault thing that will look very cool indeed I must remember how I have to leave little doors to get out to this bit again because that could could be a problem. Like, can I put a door here that only I can open or something? So I can literally just sort of step through and out and go, Yeah, I'm in the outside bit again. Just so I can do some admin or whatever to get around the back and chop, change, chop and change things around. I don't know. We'll have to see how that works when we get there. But there we go. So we've got this far. The power armor's broken. But next time out, we can have some fun with uh, building a vault and interviewing and testing some people in that vault. So that'll be jolly exciting. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. That's a kind of hammering thing. There's some sort of pliers. Oil filter. Yes, I found the oil filter. It's a murder weapon. That looks like it says brake fluid. I don't want to drink brake fluid. Toothpicks, spanners, a brown car. Why do all the cars look the bloody same? I'm not buying one of these. These are clearly awful.